Aliens are living among us. They are not fiction anymore. Some of them are from different planets while others are interdimensional beings. In this video, we'll delve into real-life encounters with extraterrestrial beings. We'll explore cases where these interdimensional visitors from other worlds have openly revealed their origins. But before we get deeper into this, I will recommend you to buy Moldavite Crystal Necklace. Moldavite is a powerful stone. It transforms people's lives. It clears obstacles and it basically makes it so that you're very well connected to your higher self. Now, if you need some Moldavite with an extra blessing, extra special care, check out Ancient Energy website. They have only 8 of these crystals left. I'll leave the link in description. The story of Elizabeth Clare sounds like the plot of a science fiction movie, but she insists it's all true. Elizabeth's fascination with aliens began at the age of 7 when she and her sister saw a strange glowing object in the night sky. As a child, there was hardly any information about UFOs, so it wasn't until the 1950s that she began studying extraterrestrial civilizations in earnest. In 1955, while working in intelligence, Elizabeth was sent to investigate a peculiar hill on the outskirts of Johannesburg. Locals frequently reported seeing mysterious lights on the hill. When Elizabeth arrived, she witnessed a spacecraft resembling a rotating disc with a stationary dome in the center. She realized she had encountered aliens. Following this incident, Elizabeth developed a telepathic connection with a being named Akon, a scientist from the planet Meaton. They communicated telepathically for a year before Akon invited her to visit his planet. Elizabeth agreed, and was fortunate enough to visit Meaton three times. During her last visit, she spent an extended period there as she was expecting a child with Akon. After giving birth to a hybrid child, Elizabeth was returned to Earth. Despite facing criticism and ridicule, she steadfastly maintains that her incredible experiences were real. Simon Parks, a member of the Whitby Town Council in North Yorkshire, holds a remarkable position of power and responsibility. Yet, despite his high-ranking status, he regularly maintains contact with aliens of various races, particularly with reptilians and mantis beings. In an interview with the British newspaper The Northern Echo, Simon shared astonishing details about his extraterrestrial encounters. According to him, his first contact occurred when he was just six months old, when he was adopted by an alien almost three meters tall with eight long fingers. Since then, he has had ongoing communication with these beings. Simon developed a special connection with the mantis race, as they are more friendly towards humans than the reptilians. However, both races are observing Earth with plans to eventually populate it with hybrids. Incredibly, Simon also revealed to journalists that he had an intimate relationship with one of the alien females. This relationship resulted in the birth of a son named Zarka. Simon's interest in extraterrestrial beings didn't arise by chance. His mother worked for British security services and was involved in collecting data on UFOs. Perhaps her stories influenced her son's imagination, but who knows? Maybe Simon's incredible accounts are more than just fiction. George Adamski, a Polish immigrant living in the USA, gained worldwide fame in the 1950s for his bold claims of contact with extraterrestrials and a series of UFO photographs. According to George, on November 20, 1952, while relaxing in California's Mojave Desert, he and his friends noticed a silver, cigar-shaped object in the sky, being pursued by fighter jets. He managed to photograph it, providing evidence for his extraordinary story. Near the UFO, George encountered an alien with shoulder-length blonde hair and tanned skin, who looked almost human. The being communicated telepathically with George, explaining that he had come from Venus to ensure the safety of Earth's inhabitants. The alien expressed concern about the presence of nuclear weapons which posed a threat to our beautiful planet. George claimed that he had many more encounters with this Venusian being, which allowed him to visit various planets in our solar system and witness phenomena unseen by others. Despite his series of photographs supporting his story, George Adamski faced severe criticism in the early 1960s.
If you think stories of anomalous phenomena and contact with aliens are modern fabrications, think again. Throughout history, people have experienced inexplicable situations. A prime example is the story of Gil Perez, a Filipino soldier. On October 24, 1593, Gil Perez was assigned as a guard at the governor's palace in Manila. That day, elections were being held for a new governor, after the previous governor, Gomez Perez dos Marinas, had been killed by Chinese pirates. Initially, Gil was performing his duties as usual, but then he felt a strong malaise and dizziness. Deciding to lean against a wall and take a nap, he closed his eyes. When Gil opened his eyes, he found himself in Mexico City, over 10,000 kilometers across the ocean from Manila. Local guards, surprised to see a man in the uniform of a Filipino soldier, decided to interrogate him. When Gil explained his story and mentioned the assassination of Governor Das Marinas, they didn't believe him, and detained him. However, when news of the Manila governor's assassination eventually reached Mexico City, Gil was released and assisted in returning home. This, astonishing and mysterious story, has led some ufologists to believe that Gil was transported such a distance by aliens, or an unknown advanced civilization capable of opening spatial portals. Scientists, however, consider the entire story to be fiction. On October 11, 1973, two shipyard workers, 42-year-old Charles Hickson and 19-year-old Calvin Parker, were fishing on a pier on the Pascagoula River as they often did in their leisure time. Suddenly, they heard a strange noise and saw an unidentified flying object so bright it was hard to look at. As the alien ship approached the shore, its door opened and three beings emerged. These beings were small in stature with human-like bodies, but they had no eyes or mouths. Instead of noses and ears, they had appendages, their hands resembled pincers, and their legs appeared fused together. Charles and Calvin felt completely helpless and lost control of their minds and bodies, making it easy for the beings to abduct them. According to the men, the three beings took them aboard their ship, where a strange round object floated around them, seemingly examining their bodies and internal organs. After about 20 minutes on the ship, Charles and Calvin were dropped off near the pier where they had been fishing. Despite skepticism from scientists, all tests, including hypnosis and polygraphs, proved that the men were not lying about their extraordinary experience. These are just a few examples of incidents where humans have reportedly had contact with aliens. We have many more such stories to share in future videos. But for now, let us know in the comments what you think about these claims. Don't forget to check out the Ancient Energy website. And if you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video. Through the realm of the unknown, when the truth is revealed, no longer alone. Terry Orr brings a fire, spitting facts. Conspiracy theories ain't no turning back. Shining light.